So hi, I'm here today to talk about Levels, which is a new European framework with core indicators to assess and report on sustainability performance of buildings. So why have we done this? Why Levels? Well, if you look at the full life cycle of a building, if you look from the extraction of materials, the manufacturing or construction products, the construction itself and transport, of course, and also the use of buildings, renovation included, and end of life, there is a lot of resources being used for buildings and construction. 50% of all our energy consumption goes to that life cycle of buildings. 50% of our extracted materials goes to buildings as well. 30% or a third goes to the water consumption which is linked to buildings. And 30% of our uh, total generated waste is construction and demolition waste. So there's a lot of resources being used and that gives rise to a lot of environmental impact. We need to use these resources more effectively and uh, we need to consider the full life cycle. So that's what Levels is about. So Levels is a holistic approach where we look to bring buildings into the circular economy. And we want to make life cycle performance understandable to different kinds of stakeholders. This slide shows you the whole life carbon of a building. The whole life carbon consists of the embodied carbon, which is linked to the materials, and the operation carbon, which is linked to the use phase of the building, so heating and cooling, etc. On the x-axis, you see the um, lifetime of the building, and on the y-axis, you see these carbon emissions. What we do today, typically, when we talk about buildings and energy efficiency and so on, we look at the yellow part, the operational carbon. But we believe that we should look at the full life cycle, the whole life carbon. So that's just one example of what Levels does. So what is Levels then actually? It is an EU-wide assessment and reporting framework for sustainability of buildings. It looks at the whole life cycle, as I just said, and it is a robust approach to measure and improve the building performance from design to end of life. Levels consists of a number of core indicators which have been developed and tested together with the building sector in Europe, across the EU. It is an entry-level tool, which is really targeting the mainstream market. You don't have to be a, an expert in life cycle thinking to use levels. On the contrary, we are doing this tool, or we have been doing this tool, because we wanted to bring this kind of concept to those who have not used this kind of thinking before. When we developed levels, we decided to do it for residential and offices and we have covered both new build and renovation. What you can see on the side here is the process that we have gone through to develop levels. We started back in um, 2015, quickly set up a large number of stakeholder groups to help us and support us throughout this process. And then back in 2017, we had a beta version, which was then tested uh, for two years by different kinds of building projects throughout Europe. Based on that uh, response, the feedback that we got, we have now been able to, to finalize the uh, final version of Levels and to publish it last year. And now we are working to develop different kinds of web-based tools to train, uh, practice how to work with it, but also to actually use it on your building project. So here you see Levels. This is what it is. First, to start with looking at the uh, six uh, bright blue macro objectives. These are really the sort of the key points that we want to make. It starts with um, greenhouse gas emissions throughout the full life cycle, where we have a couple of indicators to, to target that. You can see the indicators to the right hand side. Then we also have the material flows, which we want to be circular and resource efficient. And we have some indicators for that as well. Then we have water use. And there we have uh, gone through the different resource uses, but we also have the area of health and comfort we have uh, resilience to climate change and the cost and the, the value and risk of buildings. In all these areas, or in all these, for all these macro objectives, we have indicators. I want to stress that you can use levels at three different levels. The level one is at the conceptual stage where you use the indicators in a qualitative way. Uh, in uh, level two, you use the same indicators but in a quantitative way. That is at the design and construction stage. And the third level is when you're actually uh, you're done with your building, you check what the actual 
performance is, and you can also use some of the indicators to monitor the performance uh, afterwards as well. So what are the key benefits of levels that, that we think uh, it has and what we have also understood from building professionals having used it and having looked at it, I think. It is a common language. That's a really important thing. And it is based on existing industry standards. It tracks performance throughout the full life cycle. It can underpin, or not only can, but it will underpin future policies, for sure in the, at the EU level, but we also see how it starts to, to attract uh, attention uh, in different member states. Why would they sort of uh, reinvent the wheel again now that we've spent so much time in developing this? We see how it can help us to future-proof buildings, in particular in relation to, to climate targets. It enhances dialogue, because if you need to think about the full life cycle, you need to have different building professionals communicating with each other, and Level supports you in that. It supports the, the development and skills and understanding of sustainability in your organization. It is, as I said before, for the mainstream market, which is quite new for, uh, for such, a, such a tool. It should be a simple entry point and take the user from one step at a time, going through one level to the next level. And of course, we also have a number of big certification schemes active in Europe, uh, which are now looking to align themselves with some of the main indicators of levels, because they think that is important to, to be aligned. So just saying that whether you are working in, uh, in planning, in design, in uh, finance, execution, or actually in, in policy making and decision making uh, for public authorities, you can really uh, feel confident about levels because we've had all your kinds of different uh, stakeholder groups involved when we developed and tested levels. What about the policy context? Well, you know about the EU Green Deal that was um, uh, adopted by the end of 2019 of the new commission, the existing commission now. They set out their agenda for, for greening Europe. There have been a lot of, of um, communications and other initiatives coming out since then linked to the building sector. I've, I've mentioned a, through a few here, um, the Circular Economy Action Plan, the Renovation Wave and the new European Bauhaus. These are all looking at life cycle thinking and circularity and levels plays an important role there. So, uh, as a, a key thing that I want you to remember after, after this um, presentation is that Levels indeed brings minimum number of indicators, uh, but try to maximize the leverage of uh, sustainability. So what's next for Levels? There's well, plenty of things, both in relation to policy, to, to research framework of the European Union, um, also in relation to what we're doing now, uh, as I mentioned before, about developing web-based tools to, to use levels and to practice uh, on regarding these concepts. Just to give you a glimpse of what it can look like in policy, last month uh, the sustainable, sustainable Finance Taxonomy was adopted by the Commission. And there, if you look at new buildings and new big buildings, you will see that we have included a uh, criterion on reporting on whole life carbon. And this refers to the levels methodology. That's one example. But as you can see, there will be many more. I want to thank you for your, uh, for your interest and I encourage you to go to our website and of course also to join our LinkedIn group. Thank you very much. <laughs>